In my previous video, I showed you how you can make an LED matrix which can display anything you can think of. But the only problem with that was we have to upload entire new program to update the message on the display, which can be solved very easily by utilizing an HC05 module. So today I will show you how you can make an Bluetooth control LED matrix. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. They are known for high quality PCB prototype manufacturing. They can not only provide you two layer PCB, but also four layer and the six layer PCB as well. Upload your Gerber files to get high quality and the professional looking PCBs. The main benefit for opting this option is the insanely low prices. That is only $2 for the two layered PCB. I have received my PCB just after the one week of the order and I have to say they are one of the best I have ever seen. Check out the JLC PCB link is in the video description. Before proceeding ahead I am assuming that you have already watched my previous video and you know how to build an LED matrix. For controlling the matrix via Bluetooth we will be using an Bluetooth module such as HC05 but you can also use an HC06 or a newer version. HM10. They all will work just fine. To get this thing working, first we obviously need to connect the power, that is the 5V and the ground. Then we can connect the TX pin of the module to the RX pin of the Arduino and the RX pin of the module to the TX pin of the Arduino. But there is a problem. Our module works on 3.3V logic level and the Arduino works on the 5V logic level. This can easily fry the module. But we can solve this problem by simply using a voltage divider network. If we connect 2.2 kilo ohm and the 1 kilo ohm resistor in series and apply 5 volt across it, we can obtain 3.3 volt across the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Then I used a small piece of PCB and added the female headers so I can remove the module if needed and added the voltage divider network to it. Then I extended the connections by using male headers and the module was ready to be used. Next I connected the power and connected the RX pin of the module to the TX pin of the Arduino and the TX pin of the module to the RX pin of the Arduino and that's it. Now it's time to upload the new program. New program is very similar to the previous one. We have already defined all the possible incoming data and stored it in a dummy array. Now we will scan the incoming data and send it to a new array which will take the data from the dummy array and that will be displayed. That's how this works. Now you can download this code and the modified schematic from the instruct table. Link is in the video description. Once the program is uploaded, download the serial Bluetooth terminal from the Play Store and open it. Now go into the menu and select Devices. Here you can pair it with your device. Then go back and click the connect button and you are ready to go. Now let's see if it works. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you liked this video, share it with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content like this and I will see you guys in the next one.